Hello and welcome to a bonus video from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, and getting better. Thank you for being here. My name is Ben Hansen. I'm just a little bit sick, so I apologize for my voice. I'm also joined by the pinnacle of health, Jeff Marchiafava. Yay, that's me. <laughs> Two sick boys, sick with jokes. We have been diagnosed. That's right. Uh, and we're also joined by Jeff Cork, special guest. I feel good, too. <laughs> <laughs> also joined by Leo Vader. I'll tell you right now, my jokes are sick. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> there we go. Yes. This, this um, normally MinMax is a very positive, friendly place. I'm going to warn you, this video, we might be a couple of stinkers here, everybody. So if you're wary of snark, look elsewhere. Go uh, watch The Deepest Dive on Animal Crossing or something sweet that we've done in the past. Because what this is, this is a big tradition. I believe this is the seventh year uh, consecutive, mind you, where we decided that uh, with Thanksgiving, in the U.S. at least, um, it's time to, to give thanks. To give thanks to what's important in life, which is video games. And so we have decided to come up with each 20 reasons for why we're thankful for video games in 2022. Some would say they're in the form of just half-ass jokes. Um, some would say they're heartfelt from the soul. Uh, now here's the thing. We each wrote 20 of these reasons to be thankful and then supporters over on Patreon, they also submitted a bunch of great ones and we chose our 20 favorite and they're in the mix as well. And we're gonna randomize all of these. It's not, we're not reading our own. These are fully randomized, doled out, um, but any that you don't like are clearly from Jeff Marchiafava, so I'm going to let you all know that ahead of time. No. And we might be reading our own. I see one of mine in here. Oh, I'm interesting. You can send it to me. Um, but uh, the thing is, uh, we want to thank everybody for submitting jokes over there on Patreon. We're sorry if we didn't choose yours. That's on us. That's not on you. We, uh, Your sense of humor is above us, or we just didn't quite get it, or somebody else already made a joke about it, so no harm done. Uh, thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Thanks for giving us a, a great year over there. Patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. Uh, Leo Vader, we are dangerously close to hitting our goal of streaming a cozy holiday feast. Um, we are higher than we've ever been, and if we hit 3,200 supporters on Patreon, we're going to stream a Thanksgiving feast with us sitting around in the studio drinking wine. Sarah can finally let loose and tell us what she really thinks of us, uh, but we are only doing this cozy event if we hit 3,200 supporters. So if you think this video is worth $2, which is the price of, not even a cup of coffee, it's the price of like a little cup of cream that you put in that coffee, what well, with inflation these days. Uh, hang on, we're saving the jokes for later. Please, I need to cool myself down from these hot takes. Yeah, aye, aye, aye. But if you think this video is worth $2, you can jump over there on patreon.com slash minmax with two ends and help us get closer to that goal. Uh, or you can unlock the podcast version of this video, The Deepest Dive on God of War Ragnarok. Uh, more than double the amount of podcasts from minmax each and every week on your favorite podcast app. It's very simple. At that $5 tier, we're going to patreon.com slash minmax with two ends. Jeff, um, how you feeling, yeah. baby? Oh, I'm feeling great. Great. We got we got jokes, everybody. Some people will say, no, we don't, but uh, by God, we have them. We have not read these jokes ahead of time, so bear with us as we perhaps stumble our way through these wonderful jokes submitted by the community and submitted from our brains. How is uh, your joke writing process this year, Leo? Um, I really... I think last year was our first year randomizing, and my notes coming out of that was uh, too mean-spirited, a lot of them. Uh -huh. I really wanted to avoid that as much as possible this year, and I really tried to screw over the person who had to read them a lot. Oh, <laughs> so okay. I tried to tone that down a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if everybody picked up your wise lessons. We're all taking notes. Uh, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without the classic Thanksgiving theme. Jeff, you remember how it goes. Yeah, I do. It'll sound like this. Will you sing it right now for the rest of the video? All right. Um, I'll go first, and then Jeff Cork, and then Leo, then Jeff them, and we'll go around in that circle. If that sounds good to everybody. Great. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let us know what the volume is, everybody watching the backstage past here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know about you all. But sometimes I'm thankful that I can sit down, turn on the gaming console of my choice, and get away from this political noise. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a breath of fresh air in that regard. It's not a political game. Stop calling it a political game. We don't know the personal ideologies of civilians you've de-escalated the situation with your guns. And it's not any of our business. It's good. It's a novel. Right. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Here we go. I'm thankful for Gotham Knights for reminding me that Rocksteady is working on a suicide game that I'm also not interested in playing. Till they announce a The Suicide Squad game, that's a big no thank you from this game. Love it. Hey. And our tradition is to savor the jokes quietly, so yeah. that's how it yeah. goes. <laughs> like a fine wine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, roll them around a little bit, the old naga. I'm thankful that we still have a few more weeks before coming to grips with the fact that Marvel's Midnight Suns isn't the Marvel XCOM fantasy game we built up in our heads. I'll be too doped up on turkey leftovers to care that my dreams have been crushed. Nailed it. (laughs) Flawless. Hey, guys. Uh, Digital Eclipse had a great 2022 with the release of both Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection and Atari 50, the anniversary collection. That's on top of the collection of memories that dads and grandpas will share playing these old ass games. Seriously, you seen these old ass games? Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. That one hurts. Hey guys, I'm thankful for all the cool unlockable skins in Stray. Unfortunately, the skins are buried underneath all that fur. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. I'm thankful that we keep getting more and more and more time with Jeff Keighley. I'm surprised he hasn't been canceled yet with tweets like, who's your favorite Muppet? What do you predict will get nominated for Game of the Year? And the things I've seen, dot, dot, dot. (laughs) This just in, Milk dropped a position in the spiciest white thing category. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm thankful for Neon White, which is a great game, even if it is derivative of all the other speedrunning FPS puzzle platforming card games flooding the market. The music was uh, chugging yeah, like to process the, the comedy. <laughs> is that a joke? <laughs> uh, Sony announced PlayStation VR 2 this year and I'm thankful for their design team's attention to detail. I'm told that there's a cool Easter egg when you remove the pricey headset and look carefully at the welt it leaves on your face. (laughs) That mark is actually made from thousands of tiny triangles, squares, and other simple geometric shapes. It's kind of an obscure callback to the PlayStation controller face buttons that we all know and love. Cute. (laughs) I'm gonna pass out reading these. Yeah, I don't know. I was was writing the novels. I like how you got the one that ended in yuck and the one that ended in cute. (laughs) I know. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm thankful for Diablo Immortal, the joke that Leo came up with. Wait. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Focus up. Here we go, everybody. It's like mistakes never happened. Hey, everybody. I'm thankful for Doc... Here we go. Hey, everybody. I'm thankful for Diablo Immoral, the joke that Leo came up with. It is so funny and true. Oh, forgive me for butchering that one. Uh, The butcher, I thought he was a Diablo boss. Okay. Hey, Hey, no. Thankful for video game memoirs finally revealing the secrets of the game industry. Like Cliffy B's new book, which genuinely contains the line, Every time my mom farted out a kid at Mass General, Doctor saw another baby boy weenie. This is true. Oh. Okay. Wow. Quote from the book. Quote from the book. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know who wrote that joke. The Cliffy one person B? who read that biography. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm enjoying it, actually. But good, good joke, Leo. <laughs> Yeah, that was a lucky guess from me. <laughs> we're I'm thankful okay, we sorry. finally got the Halo TV show executive produced by Steven Spielberg. I can't believe he finally took off his helmet and revealed he was a Fableman? Is that a reference to his family <laughs> movie? <laughs> I would imagine that's a reference to his family movie. <laughs> Uh, between the launch of Marvel Snap and Pokemon Snap appearing on Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack, it's been a great year for games with Snap in the title. I'm thankful nobody evaluates these jokes beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> True. 
Throw them in the pot. Throw them in the pot. Thanks to the Playdate for accurately recreating so many Playdates from my youth, where everybody acts enthusiastic for 20 minutes before calling their parents to pick them up early. <laughs> I'm thankful that legendary game developer Masahiro Sakurai has started a YouTube channel. Finally, I've overcome the last thing between me and fulfilling my lifelong dream of being a game developer. A three minute video on design document. <laughs> <laughs> is there are we call it given like a shout out if it is? Yeah, we a, should. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Submission. yeah, I think that's a good way to go. Yeah, it kind of threw me for a loop because I, I, I saw it, it says hyphen Chandler and I thought, was I supposed to have used a Chandler voice for that? Oh, I mean, you can do it again <laughs> no. if you want to use a Chandler voice. Nah. I'm, Thanks for the support, Chandler. I, could I be any? Oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> hey. I'm thankful for the Steam Deck. So now I can also not play my massive Steam library on the go. That's from Jonah Abraham. Thanks, Jonah. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm thankful for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which isn't a remake of the original Modern Warfare 2, but is a sequel to 2019's Modern Warfare, which also wasn't a remake of the original Modern Warfare. Hey Activision, if you're going to try and trick people into buying your games with popular titles, just call next year's game Call of Duty Super Mario Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, Vampire Survivors. I'm thankful that you came out during a year where there was literally nothing else to play, because I was happy to give you all of my hours. Listen up, Vampire nice. Survivors. Hey. Okay. Pick up the phone, everyone. <laughs> hey, I'm thankful for Elden Ring being nominated for Best Narrative at the Game Awards, which makes me feel that while my life may seem like a confusing and seemingly directionless march towards some ill-defined end goal, someone out there actually like my lore or something. <laughs> that tongue twister was from Mark Sharon. Sharon. Thanks, Mark Sharon. Two R's. I'm thankful for Aperture Desk Job being one of the best written games of the year. Too bad Valve can't shove that in a loot box. They may put their writers to work for more than once a decade. That was from D's Butts. D's Butts and D's Good. Second. Uh, I'm thankful the wildly talented Amy Hennig announced she's working on a Marvel game. I've always said it, nobody doesn't release games better. <laughs> that one tripped me up <laughs> as I was reading it. You landed it. Uh, I'm thankful the design of Gotham Knights perfectly put players in the mind of the character we're playing. We both really miss Batman. <laughs> Check this out, stupids. I'm thankful they didn't make that GTA movie starring an Eminem. They're going to make a GTA movie. It should star me because I'd be going crazy in that game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for Aloy, who told me what joke to submit before even having to think about it. A breathy exhale, it says in parentheses, but it didn't pick up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rich McLaughlin, thank you. Thank you, Rich. I'm thank. Oh, sorry. I'm thankful for oh, understanding no. who goes what. Um, start. Okay, let's start it over. Let's start wow. over from the top. Here we go, yeah. everybody. One more time. I know what I'm not <clears throat> thankful for. Yeah, no kidding. All right, uh, and action. All right, Jeff, I'm taking away. Uh, and speaking of vampire survivors, I'm thankful that Phil Harrison was able to outlive Google Stadia. <laughs> I hear that he transformed into a bat and escaped through an open window in search of his next meal. Is GameStop looking for new executive talent? <laughs> Calling Phil Harrison a vampire survivor is the funniest thing. Uh, okay. I'm thankful that Leo's favorite game, Hitman, keeps getting such robust support heading into the eighth year of the new trilogy. I just wish I could play it. But unfortunately, I do not respect Leo and think, <laughs> and think he is a fool. So I'm not playing it as a personal insult against him. I knew it. Rude. Absolutely knew Truth it. comes out, at least. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Yes. All right. I'm thankful that Sifu snagged the best fighting game nomination at the Game Awards because he fighted in it. 
And I was glad to see Elden Ring get nominated for best role playing because you roll around in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm thankful 2022 has been such a great year for cozy farming games. With charming releases like Harvestella, My Time at Sandrock, Moondrop, Snacko, and Dinkum. And if you're annoyed that these games are taking over the spotlight right now, well, you can Snacko on my Dinkum. <laughs> All right. <coughs> that was from uh, Leo Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. That's uh, hey guys, here's one. Weird West, Evil West, Horizon Forbidden West, Kirby's Forgotten Land. I'm guessing it's in the West. <laughs> oh no. Yes. I'm thankful that I finally got my Steam Deck, or as I like to call it. The little box that plays Vampire Survivors until it gets hot and the battery dies. <laughs> hey, I'm thankful for Horizon Forbidden West, or as it's more commonly known, Horizon Forbidden Release Window. Oh, oh. rivers that game came out this year. That's right. Oh. That's right. <clears throat> I'm thankful that Bethesda is taking their time on the highly anticipated Mass Effect reboot, Starfield. It is absolutely coming out in 2023, and you can take that to the thank. I mean, bank. Which is what this game is going to be making. Have you ever tried to write 20 jokes in 12 minutes? <laughs> Not so easy, is it? <laughs> if only we would have known this video was coming up this year. If, if only. Every year it catches this place. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. Uh, Google Stadia, more like Google Wentia. Am I right, gang? <laughs> that was from Mr. Bob Buell, the ever thankful. Here we go. Thank you, Bob. Mm. Thank you, well Bob. done. Nice. Nicely done. I'm thankful for Andor. Star Wars has never been so grounded and exciting. The only way it could be better is if they showed us where Luke got that iconic lightsaber. Oh, is it in the movies? I mean, no, where he really got it. <laughs> Look, I am not happy that Yuji Naka was recently arrested, but I am thankful that Japan's legal system finally acknowledges that making Sonic games is a crime. Look, I didn't. Ooh. This is randomly ooh, distributed. Ooh, I, ooh, 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 ooh. I'll say that again. We're not leaving here until we find out who's responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for Citizen Sleeper. With its methodical, text-rich gameplay, it really helped put this citizen to sleep. It's from Mitch. Good job, Mitch. Uh, okay. Here's one. <clears throat> I'm thankful that I have the opportunity to continue creating content with Jeffem, the wisest, sexiest, <laughs> most talented guy in video game media, who doesn't get nearly enough praise for his numerous contributions but is also far too humble man to say so himself. I love you, Jeffem. Thank you for everything you've taught me. I view every day as an opportunity to live up to the shining example you set for us all. I feel like the random roulette of who gets these really kind of screwed me on that one. Uh, hey man, what are you gonna do? They always say the secret to comedy is randomization. Yeah. That's the best possible outcome, <laughs> I think. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm thankful for NFTs. Hear me out. This is actually just a setup for a joke. Yeah, I'm thankful for NFTs, all right. The nice freaking t-shirts in the MinMax merch store. Whoa. They're on screen right now. That's oh, amazing. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed, Warcraft 3 Reforged, Oddworld Soulstorm, GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, and both remakes of 13. Sometimes the game isn't what it should be in its original form, and with modern technology, we can actually make them much worse. Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks for your support over on Patreon. We said some. What if we just never stopped doing this? Like, what if we just had like a live feed and people just submitted it? Because I. I feel like I'm enjoying this so much I could do this for at least a year straight, I think. 
Um, yeah, the hard part's writing them. That's right. That's the part I always forget. They are finite. Yeah. They are finite. I always forget <laughs> I think that. We part. can train an AI to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you kidding me with these zingers? Oh, absolutely. Good luck, Deep Blue. <laughs> I'm thankful for Marvel Snap. With Twitter's impending demise, it's nice to have another excuse to stare at my phone for hours. Nick from Atlanta. Thanks, Nick. Yes. Uh, I'm thankful for Elon Musk buying Twitter. Seeing a CEO be so incompetent has really helped my imposter syndrome. (laughs) It's Joe Dean. Thanks, Joe. I'm thankful that right now, Ubisoft is frantically Googling how to bat girl skull and bones. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dear. I'm thankful that nothing I like got snubbed at the Game Awards. For context... I like all the wrong games. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Dogma 2 was finally announced in true Capcom fashion with a shirt. Hey, Jeff Cork, I hear you're announcing a pizza stain for 2026. <laughs> <laughs> no thankful hey. in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm thankful that everyone is mature and doesn't constantly make cheap jokes about the head of Microsoft Studios, Matt Booty. Even though those jokes could actually be really smart and funny, and why does he have to be so uptight and manage his block list with such a heavy hand? Hashtag Matt (laughs) Fartbox. (laughs) I'm thankful for the Uncharted movie. Drake, Sully, and the whole gang were in top form for their first big screen adventure. Hashtag ad. Hashtag what? Ad? We're <laughs> oh, doing ads. That's good. That's good. Okay. Looks like we're going right to the sacred cows, guys. So again, I didn't write these necessarily. I'm thankful that EA released so many new and original games this year, including Grid 5, F122, Madden 23, FIFA 23, NHL 23, and a Sims 4 expansion. Hey EA, send somebody down to the Sarlacc dev pit and check if the Star Wars team is still alive. <laughs> a genuine plea. A genuine plea. I'm thankful that Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Extraction achieved its primary goal. It really was left for dead. I didn't get that one until I read it out loud. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm thankful that the industry was able to survive yet another year without E3. I don't know how we're able to do it, but we manage. It's exciting that someone was able to coax notorious recluse Jeff Keighley onto stage for Summer Game Fest. I'm thankful for PS Plus Premium. PlayStation finally has a tier dedicated to allowing us easy access to all of our favorite classic games from the PlayStation 1. Good thing there were only six games for it. That could have been a lot of work. (laughs) Thanks to Beaten Down Brian. I'm thankful for Splatoon 3 for building on the zany action and multiplayer fun of the first two games while introducing plenty of much needed quality of life changes. Only Queen Elizabeth had lived to see this release. She loved claiming territory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we said we're getting political, Jared Pierce. Come on. <laughs> I'm thankful for Morbius for letting everyone on the internet think that they're funny. <laughs> Uh, I'm thankful that CD Projekt Red stuck to its word this year and fixed Cyberpunk 2017. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm confusing the game's title with the last time it was relevant. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks to Todd Howard for announcing Fallout 5 is in development. Hold on, Skyrim Grandma! (laughs) (laughs) I like that one. Death cl- comes for us all. <laughs> hey, Rockstar had one heck of a year, right, guys? Yeah. Looking forward to 2025's leak drop, where we learned that a fun version of Red Dead Online was actively in development. 
<laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get mad. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna get mad. I'm thankful for all the intriguing lore questions that Gotham Knights raises, such as, who are these annoying kids? Why would I ever want to play as any of them? When do I unlock Batman? Why was Alfred modeled after Fredo Corleone? And seriously, when the hell do I unlock Batman? This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> Has that been three Gotham Knights? <laughs> it turns out it's kind of an easy punching bag, yeah. No. Uh, I'm thankful for the technical wizards over at Game Freak for being the most vocal advocate for next-gen Nintendo hardware through their software. That's from the Sleepy Mailman. I like it. I, I like see it. what you're getting at there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thankful for what I can only assume was another year full of huge free updates to No Man's Sky that I really needed to get around to playing one of these days. Yeah. Yeah. Here's something I think we can all uh, relate to. I used to have too much time and money. I'm thankful that Diablo Immortal came along and solved those problems. It also solved the problem of my phone's anti-scratch coating is too consistent and needs two thumb-sized spots rubbed completely off. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one, let's just pretend I said I wasn't going to do it and then you know, we had a big fight and you convinced me that I had to do it. But I made a big stink where I wasn't going to say this one. Okay. <clears throat> I'm thankful the Supreme Court forced Final Fantasy VII Remake to have a rebirth. Okay. 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 I don't get it. Can you? Is that? Can you... It's political. It just you don't want to know. Yeah. What do I even Google? <laughs> uh, I'm thankful that the industry has moved away from loot boxes and towards battle passes. So now, if we want a cool outfit, we actually all we have to do is play hundreds of hours a month of every game we like. Actually, can we do the loot boxes again? <laughs> I murdered that one. No, I no, 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 you, you gave it life. You breathed like you were doing. It was just <laughs> words right. on a page before, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm thankful I was able to get a hold of one of those newish video cards for my gaming PC. And then, of course, the new ones came out immediately afterward. Guess I'll have to find another way to cause neighborhood brownouts and set my house on fire. <laughs> Hashtag just gamer problems. <laughs> Get her alive seven coming to Schrodinger's Xbox 2023. Harris and Holt McHale. It's a thinker. It's a thinker, but we like it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm thankful for all those free PlayStation Plus games I've paid probably a thousand dollars for at this point. Uh, I'm thankful Sony finally released Spider-Man on PC this year to remind us all of a time when the biggest industry scandal was possibly non-reflective puddles. <laughs> Better times. Those are good times. Yeah. I'm thankful that Sonic creator Yuji Naka is finally free from the prison that is working for a huge corporation like Square Enix. I'm so happy that he gets to remove the shackles. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think there's more to this. Maybe it got lost in the randomization. I, this is from Blaine Sheasley, and then it says, Now, if you don't mind me, I'll open up the business section of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. I think that I think that was the punchline. I'm sorry that they got lost in the cut and paste. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has it, it as a punchline, um, pretend that you don't. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm thankful that Rockstar changed up its internal work environment is moving away from its notoriously bro-y, toxic workplace culture. Relieved to see in the GTA 6 leak that they finally changed the name of their in-game restaurant chain, Guy's Balls Chicken, to the more highbrow, Man's Genitals. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, I'm thankful that the Mario movie looks to be shaping up with Chris Pratt nailing all of Mario's classic lines. From it's me, Mario, let's go, and mommy me, to when he's talking in his sleep, wistfully muttering, ah, bread. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, -huh. uh Now it's time to take a big drink of coffee and read the newest international business <laughs> oh, crimes. No. 
<laughs> it was letter I just received. There it is. That's what we were That was the second before, half to Blaine Cheesley's. Damn it. Yeah, sorry. Now sorry. it's a callback. It's even better. It is yeah. better. Do okay. Do you want to do your next okay, one? Uh, here, or yeah, here? here's another one. Uh, there was a lot of chatter about Playdate this year. I'm thankful that people are still definitely playing this thing and cranking it and having just so much fun and whatnot. Is this how the Thanksgiving format works? Did I do that correctly? I'm thankful this is free and people shouldn't complain. <laughs> Unless you're a Patreon supporter, it costs you five dollars. <clears throat> I'm thankful the year ended with Sonic creator Yuji Naka going to jail for insider trading. Next thing you know, it'll be revealed that he's involved with the Yaka. Is it, I'm sorry, I mean the Like a Dragon. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy, this one's gonna get me in hot water. Yep. Here goes. I'm thankful I didn't mock review Disney Dreamlight Valley, so I'm allowed to say on air that it sucks. Just <laughs> <laughs> reading this Interesting. Stuff. Interesting. Interesting. Randomized. <clears throat> Mandy Patinykin. <laughs> 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 That's it. Okay. okay, yeah. Took a second. I like that one. Yeah. My favorite one from last year was the very end of the bonus ones. Hanson's a uh, Venmo. <laughs> Let there be carnage. <laughs> oh yeah, that that's right. <laughs> that was good. Uh, I'm I'm thankful that skateboarding games are having their triumphant return. Session, Ollie Ollie World, and even Roller Drone, kinda. Now this is a Shredder's Revenge I can get into. Joke number 18. <laughs> I'm thankful that with the James Webb telescope launch this year, we can see 13 billion years into the past, when Wordle was popular. <laughs> hey, my parents still play that. <laughs> no spoilers, I haven't done today's. I'm thankful that Google went above and beyond to make up for shuttering Google Stadia. Reimbursing all Stadia purchases was good enough on its own, but the complimentary Men in Black memory erasers will also come in handy the next time Google announces another gaming initiative. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <clears throat> I'm thankful somehow everybody on the planet found time to form a strong opinion on Bloober Team. Have we readdressed that? <laughs> no, no, we haven't. Uh, no. Okay, I'm sure we will when Silent Hill comes out, right? Can't wait. I've, I've liked or disliked them all this time. That's right. Mm -hmm. On the record. <laughs> uh, I'm thankful that I have the luxury of not needing Twitter in my day-to-day -day life. That's all. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm thankful that Volition is merging with Gearbox after the less than stellar reception to Saints Row. Because if there's one thing that could have saved that game, it's a bunch of jokes about unicorn farts. True. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that in 2022, games started tackling the tough questions. Starting with, what is your triangle stat strategy? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> It helped that you were also cutting out throughout that, so it was like... Big. Hey, that's on you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the listener at home. That's right. I'm thankful, and if I can be real. Yeah. I'm thankful for the community's eagerness for us to play a Plague Tale Requiem. It sounds so fun and appealing. I can't wait to start it right after I finish Great Depression, The Child Starvation Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Advance Wars was delayed because of the invasion of Ukraine. Hey Putin, end your turn already. <laughs> I'm thankful that Diablo Immortal is so thematic that Blizzard even went to the trouble of hiring Satan himself to design the game's revenue model. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet now. So. Oh, you're cutting out. You're really gonna be. It makes you cut out more the yeah, quieter you yeah, are. Yeah, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. 
So you just gotta yell it. Yeah, just so, yell, okay. that, yell that triangle strategy joke again, we'll be set. I'm thankful 2022 gave us all the observable evidence we need to definitively confirm Elon Musk is an idiot. Elon Musk, more like Mastodon Tusk, which is what I'd like to see him impaled on. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. God, where did they get their ideas from? Nice. 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 <clears throat> I'm thankful that Horizon Zero Dawn is getting a remake. Yeah, have you heard about this? Horizon Zero Dawn. It's getting a remake. Not too long since that one came out, but there you go. A remake. And the remake, get this. <laughs> Here's the thing about it. The Horizon... <laughs> I'm sorry. The Horizon Zero Dawn remake? It's called Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, get there. Oh, oh. Really got him. Really yes. got him. Yes. Uh, I'm thankful that Sony has already announced two sequels to God of War Ragnarok. God of War, Regna Paper, and God of War, Regna Scissors. By Sean Mills. Thank you, Sean. Nice. I knew none of you frickers could have come up with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too good. I'm thankful Starfield got delayed until 2023. Because I couldn't think of a joke about Starfield, and now I have... Now I don't have to for another year. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive me for my trespasses. Look out there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have a take two for this entire video, don't worry. Yeah. Love it. I'm thankful that my alma mater, GameStop, got into the NFT game this year and then it's going just great. Sure, art is dog ugly and has questionable value. And of course, they minted weird forgeries of Game Informer covers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for Rogue Legacy 2 for making me feel represented in a video game. Finally, I can play as a weird little guy who gets killed in one hit and also has IBS. <laughs> Thank you, Jared Pierce. Thanks, Jared. I'm thankful Gran Turismo 7 patched in always online mode and aggressive microtransactions after all the reviews hit. It truly was the worst patch since Adams. <laughs> Patch <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> I'm a. Uh, I'm thankful Madden 23 paid homage to the late great John Madden by putting him on the cover. And as a subtle homage to John Madden, the game is also currently covered in bugs. Oh. Oh. Wow. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Buell, how dare you! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Moving on. I'm thankful the Capcom. <laughs> card, card, card. <laughs> card, 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 card. Worse, card. Yeah. <laughs> You're cutting out more and more. You. Are you sure you didn't turn suppression super on? I'm thankful the Capcom finally announced that Ken, E. Honda, and Dalsim are in Street Fighter VI's roster. Fingers crossed these existing, these exciting characters attack with punches and kicks, and maybe even a special move or two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, holding the mic gives you more of a like a news reporter energy. That yeah. works. Yeah. If I hold I it up higher, it. no one right. sees me. You're in a <laughs> reporting from the hurricane of comedy. Casualties are high. I'm thankful for Sony's expansion of PlayStation Plus. Oh wait, sorry. I'm on the extra tier, and gratitude is only included in premium. Hmm. Tyler Sticka. Thanks, Tyler. Thankful for you, Tyler. Uh, hey, let's hear it for Sony Santa Monica and their work on God of War Ragnarok. I'm thankful I don't have a talking head hanging around my waist, spoiling every puzzle I run into over the course of my day-to-day -day life. Here's a solution. How's about I dropkick you into the danged lake, motormouth <laughs> meme <-ear? laughs> hmm. hmm. I'm thankful for Vampire Survivors. Finally, a walking sim done right. I like that. <laughs> I'm thankful for this year's release of Halo Infinite's campaign co-op mode. 
which definitely isn't just a non-functioning menu button that no one has tried pressing yet. (laughs) (laughs) That didn't come out, did it? I think it came out. Did it? Well, I, no. I, I may have Googled something uh, for, a, really? for a joke. And it... Uh, it couldn't Does have come it... out because I'm doing other things. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Wow. I missed that completely. That's crazy. I would not have believed that. There you go. <clears throat> I'm thankful that Facebook is building the metaverse. Not because it's something I'd ever use or could possibly work, but because watching Facebook hemorrhage $700 billion while Mark Zuckerberg played with his stupid virtual legs is the best <laughs> laugh I had all year. Yeah. I'm thankful that Tiny King Developer's Splash Team had the brilliant dev- idea of what if Pikmin, but kind of better. <laughs> As it turns out, this, but kind of better, is a good place to start. You hear that, Overwatch 2? Uh-oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. I'm thankful for GameStop's NFT marketplace, which made the company less than $45,000 on its opening day and has since fallen to less than $2,000 in daily revenue. Great job future proofing your billion dollar company, you stupid dipshit assholes. <laughs> it's harsh. Harsh but fair. True. Harsh but fair. Look, Chewy. <laughs> Chewy. <laughs> I'm thankful no one talked about that shitty game Skatebird this year. <laughs> you. <laughs> what is that? All this year, because last year we made a bunch of jokes about Skatebird, is that it? Yeah, all four of us came with jokes about the Skatebird. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any more, Leo? Yes. Okay. Considering all the stories we see about layoffs and abusive work conditions in the video game industry, I'm thankful that Blizzard chose not to fire the employee who said, hey, what if we just slap a two on the first Overwatch and release it for free? Okay. You could play as May in Overwatch. (laughs) Get up on that bike, Cork. We can't hear you. They're doing fine. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm... I'm thankful for fans of Sonic to get a good new game. Seems more like Sonic Spirit Airlines to me, though. Christopher mm. Wells. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm thankful that with Microsoft acquiring Activision, they now have BlizzCon and QuakeCon, making it easy to combine into horrific natural disaster con. Hmm. I don't have any more. (laughs) Does anybody have any more? I have one extra for some reason. All right, hit it. I'm thankful for Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster for looking exactly like, feeling exactly like, and playing exactly like the original game. Sorry, that was autocorrect. I meant Overwatch 2. (laughs) That's from Bob Buell. Bob Buell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Hey, that's it, everybody. That is a Thanksgiving feast, and boy, am I plum full of comedy. (laughs) No bonuses? Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, you want some bonus jokes, Leo? I want you to hand out those bonuses. We need need the dessert. All right, well, what's Thanksgiving meal without a little dessert? I hope you're ready for jokes that didn't make the cut, everybody. Now, the question is, how do I hand them out? I'll just just send them to you in Slack? Yeah. All right, let's, uh... <laughs> Truffo in the Backstage Pass chat said, Woohoo! Quickly followed by, oh no! <laughs> in the last minute. All right, there we go, Jeff Cork. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm thankful it's been such a big year for HD2D. Where are people getting these genre names from, George Lucas? It's good. I would have uh, punctuated that a little differently because it. Uh, yeah. It, it, yeah. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, Leo sent one your way, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, you sure did. Elden Ring fit. Is this anything? <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I'm thankful for getting access to Street Fighter 6's technical betas. 
I haven't worried about managing meters this much since parking downtown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is not even a... Get into the mic more. Yeah, That's this isn't even fitting a joke structure template, but... What's hard to understand? Living games need end games. <laughs> Damn. I like that. Thanks. Cool. Makes you think. <clears throat> right your way there, Cork. God. I'm thankful Resident Evil finally put its thing down, flipped it, and reversed it. Re colon burst. Right. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I've got a, some bonus ones that are, oh. are, I guess, are at this level. <laughs> I would, <laughs> certainly, I was like, well, we I can mean, share these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send send them out, man. Okay, fast one to you, guys. Yeah. Hey, I'm a. Uh, I'm thankful The Last of Us Part One got a remake this year. But when are they gonna remake that second one? It's really bad looking. <laughs> All right. That's your thought. Weird. <laughs> Um, let's see. Jeff, I got one to go to you, man. <clears throat> I'm thankful EA pulled off the rare combo by announcing Wild Hearts, a game that rips off Monster Hunt, and Sayonara Wild Hearts simultaneously. That would have been a cream of the crop, but I, I wasn't I wasn't feeling confident that the delivery <laughs> could be nailed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta have it. Um, anybody else got any other bonuses? Yep, I've got a good one. Yeah. I'm thankful for review scores. How else would I know Somerville was eight good? <laughs> hey, Cork, we got another one for you. I got one more here. Okay. Oh, from the man himself. Yeah. Thankful that Daisy and Shy Guy split off and are forming their own studio. They said they're working with a big publisher partner, but haven't revealed details yet. It's not really. It's not really a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just start reading our old DMs in here? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> there is a big oh, oh. Square Enix sold Crystal Dynamics, Eidos Montreal, and Square Enix Montreal to the Embracer Group. Hey, Square, just because it's called Web 3.0 doesn't mean you have to sell them for $3.0. dollars <laughs> It's a little. I want to say it's too smart for its own good, but it's it's not that. Yeah. It's yeah, it's not it's anything. It's a joke for like Financial Times readers, bored ones. Mm. Yeah. yeah, right. I got one that just popped up. <clears throat> I'm thankful all of these brilliant reviewer. <clears throat> Damn it! <clears throat> you got this. I'm good. thankful all of these brilliant reviewers finally connected the dots with the new Call of Duty game. Shooting people is bad. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I mean, I, I have a bunch more, but they are they are sub sub joke. No, dude. keep them going. Just, this yeah, is yeah, just give us this is like ones. yeah, this oh, is really? like going back for you know a third helping a turkey when we already hate ourselves. Yes, you always regret it. That's part of it. Okay, and that, you have to move the dog away to get that third helping because it's in its bowl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you got one there, Leo? Okay, I got one, I got one. Uh, buckle up. Oh, no. Nissan roguelike. <laughs> mm, it's just... Now unbuckle? <laughs> yep. Okay. Exit safely? Yeah, I think... Uh, uh, oh, Leo yeah. Leo sent me one that I didn't see. Oh, yeah. It could be from anyone. <laughs> I'm, it, could, it could be. Who knows who wrote this one? I'm thankful that we fight bots now in every online multiplayer game, and it never tells you, but it kind of just always... <clears throat> I'm thankful that we fight bots now in every online multiplayer game, and it never tells you, but it kind of just is always happening, like your little kid whose older brother is trying to convince them they're playing a game when their controller isn't even plugged in. That was too, too many words for me, Leo. So, yeah, yeah, that's I good. That's good. Didn't make that easy. That's good. Uh, I think I think we'll call her there. Tell you what, though. <laughs> tell you what, we got we got more jokes uh, for people at the ten dollar backstage past here. Um, 
we'll we'll go offline and we'll share those jokes with them. Uh, since they've supported Min Max in a big way over there on Patreon, it seems like the least we could do is give them some three out of ten jokes, <laughs> and that yeah. archive will be saved if you want to jump in if you're watching this after the fact. Whew. All right, Thanksgiving, everybody. Yummy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, as always, biggest thanks to everybody for watching this. Even if you're not a Patreon supporter, thank you for watching MinMax stuff, listening to MinMax stuff, spreading the word about MinMax. We literally would not exist without you, especially if you are a direct Patreon supporter. So if you enjoyed this, especially if you hated it um, and you think that, uh, you know, you have like $2 worth of hate towards this video, you can always jump in there on Patreon. And with that, you can also compete in uh, Trivia Tower because Trivia Tower is happening and you can jump in and compete if you're at the $2 tier. It's happening on November 28th at 8 p.m. Central. We're going up against Easy Allies. So you can jump in, compete in game trivia. It's a piece of cake and you can win an Asteroid 40 headset, which is worth hundreds. Uh, we also have game codes for stuff like God of War Ragnarok, Mario and Rabbits, uh, Sparks of Hope, a little to the left. Um, neon White, Stray, we have a ton of game codes to give out, and you just have to know a thing or two about uh, video games, so give yourself the thrill of a lifetime and jump in there. This isn't a time for plugs, it's a time for thanks, Leo. Sorry. <laughs> That's alright. Dare you. How'd we do, Cork? Oh, I think uh, we gave people a lot to be thankful for. I think you're right. I think you're right, man. All right, I think we'll wrap this video up here. Uh, we'll see you next year for even more jokes, right, Jeffum? Absolutely. Same amount. Come on, it's gonna be the same amount. It is gonna be the same amount, that's right. But next year we're all gonna be taking jokes and writing or taking notes and writing jokes throughout the entire year, so they're gonna be nothing but creme de la creme. So please look forward to that, everybody. I'll be improvising them during. (laughs) Honestly, people I love everyone so get the very sincere feedback of like, I don't get it. Like you guys are funny. But how come you're so much funnier when you're just talking than when you're actually gonna try and write a quote unquote joke? And that is an eternal riddle that I can't quite reason out. We can't read very well. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I guess so. All right. There's thanks. also a, sh- a layer of shame over the whole thing. That, that is true. It gives it a different energy. That is true. <laughs> the most of our content. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next year. Goodbye. <laughs> this video is just the tip of the iceberg for MinMax. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us a lot. Or you can head over to patreon.com, support us at any tier, and you unlock access to our lovely Discord. It's a place to talk about games or find folks to play games with. That's also where you can compete in Trivia Tower, our monthly video game trivia competition where you can win free game codes. Head on over to Patreon, jump in our Discord. We'd love to see you there.